What I find rewarding is that I am able to use it. So I coach, I create content, I facilitate. Um, I do a lot of stuff around change, project management, uh, team building, and I can weave it in no matter where we're at. And it's a great check-in tool, just at, you know, morning tea, lunch, afternoon tea, setting the, setting the context, ending the day. So I'll just sort of um, be able to weave it in without even uh, thinking about it. And I think that's the great thing. It just resets to check everyone is on board and how they're going. The most rewarding part of using the game is seeing people be safe to articulate emotions. So it's really unsafe in a work environment to say I'm sad or something's happening at home. When you put them A in a physical environment, experiential environment like this, where they're off the grid, so you own them, there's no cell phones, there's no distractions. Secondly, you've um, talked through Maslow and safety and, and all those things and then you apply this over the top of that, now they can actually articulate their feelings and the emotion and the depth of the emotion is extraordinary. I think for me the most rewarding thing about using the ECD is when people have that moment of realisation, when they've had that emotion or feeling going on for some time and they find that card that resonates with them and you can see that look in their face and you can then work with them to hone in on that specific feeling and build strategies around it and it's, it's a really satisfying feeling. I think the most rewarding part about my work with the ECD is uh, getting people or seeing people have their aha moments and um, being able to grow and develop from that. We ran over 30 workshops last year and at least one person in every workshop would come up afterwards and be like, oh, I had this moment and it was, you know, and they'd talk to you about it. It's impressive. What I find most rewarding about the emotional culture work I do is the aha moments that I see people get, whether I'm working with them individually or um, in a team. It creates such insight and all of a sudden I see that almost that aha on their face when they get it and they get how important these emotions are to drive their behaviour, to drive the outcomes. Um, so I really love that, just seeing that, uh, that it as a catalyst for personal insight. So the work that I do is essentially helping humans to get more direction in life and to create more time and space to really thrive and enjoy life. And the impact that that has is we're conditioned to work long hours to be really busy. You know, we wear busy and stress is this badge of honor, whereas that doesn't necessarily equal success. And so the work that I do is to strip all of that away, to strip away the beliefs, the the expectations, the conditionings of this is what I should do in order to be happy or to be successful and actually go fundamentally, how do I want to feel? How do I want my life to feel? How do I want to feel in myself? And create life from there. And the impact that I've seen is just a relief, a relief, a sense of presence, a sense of stillness, and also just a sense of mindfulness and intention of what people then take on, what they then decide, decide to do. And some people completely shift directions in their life and other people realise that they can still be successful and do less in life and that's probably the best impact that I can hope to have in the world.